Welcome to Chapter and Verse, Volume 3, a chapter-by-chapter reflection on the New Testament through poetry, as a way to strengthen your personal and family gospel study with a focus on the Come Follow Me curriculum. One chapter, one verse. My name is Michael D. Young, and today we have a text based on Acts 17. The focus verses for this text are Acts 17, 22 through 27. Then Paul stood in the midst of Mars Hill and said, Ye men of Athens, I perceive that in all things you are too superstitious. For as I passed by and beheld your devotions, I found an altar with this inscription, To the unknown God, whom therefore ye ignorantly worship, him declare I unto you, God that made the world and all things therein, seeing that he is Lord of heaven and earth, dwelleth not in temples made with hands, neither is worshipped with men's hands, as though he needed any thing, seeing he giveth to all life and breath and all things, and hath made of one blood all nations of men for to dwell on the face of the earth, and hath determined the times before appointed and the bounds of their habitation, that they should seek the Lord, if haply they might feel after him and find him, though he be not far off from every one of us. And now the text. Stay not unknown to me. O God, stay not unknown to me, for I would know and follow thee thy works and ways I wish to know, and feel the grace thou canst bestow. So many wander in the dark, and feel for thee, but miss the mark. I know that thou art never far, thy light is as my guiding star. Thou givest life, thou givest breath, thou givest victory over death. Thou art the father of us all, with thee the nations stand or fall. I worship thee, not with my hands, but wish to know thy prudent plans. Thy soul is not contained in stone. I worship thee and thee alone. O God, stay not unknown to me, for I commit to follow thee. I wish and work thy face to know and praise thee as I dwell below. Thank you for listening. If you like what you hear, please share. 